Okay, it's Friday, and these are my pickups for today. I think we went to about like seven uh, sales, uh, mostly yard sales, no real estate sales today. Uh, I spent, I don't know if I said already, I spent $61 on what you see today, no video games. Um, but here's what I did get, and I'm actually, for what I spent, I think I did pretty well. I didn't get any, like, really solid, well, no, I kind of did. Uh, so I, well, I got a couple of good deals. All right, here we go. Um, I got this book of CDs, loose CDs. Uh, it was a dollar. I'm sorry, it was $10 for the whole book. There's some decent CDs in there. There's Bob Marley, The Police, uh, Led Zeppelin, Kiss, R.E.M., uh, just an assortment of of uh, decent CDs. I don't think there's a, a, a real lot of them. There's 8, 16, uh, 16, 24, uh, 32. So say there's like 60 CDs. So for $10, I will sell them a buck a piece over time. I mean, actually, I'll leave that right there. Um, at one sale where I did get something really good, I bought also some records. Uh, well, actually, let me do this. I'll show this first because this is for a friend of mine. I don't know who he is. Um, we bought some books for, for your kid. Um, this would be for, uh, well, I don't know. Marie bought them, but I'm assuming um, this one is for Nick uh, because this way he has something cool to read. And then I don't know about maybe these are for uh, Madison. All right. So anyway, uh, I got some records. I, records like these, I, take them, I took them to Columbus Flea Market. And they weren't really buying them so well. Um, here, this one's sealed, so that's pretty cool. Um, and I've taken them to other flea markets. I have a feeling that unless it's something amazing, I'm going to be... And I'm going to give the sealed ones or the ones that are, that are really valuable to my friend who knows who he is. He can list them. Um, like here, here's a Chuck Mangione, but this is sealed. Oh, wait, no, actually it's not sealed, but it's in good shape. All right, so... Um, Peter Frampton... You know, popular stuff. Boston with the cool spaceship cover. Uh, Chicago monkeys. And, like, I can take these out, but the dealers, when I went to Columbus, they didn't buy a single record for me, and I thought I had some decent titles. And I was something like, they wouldn't give me $2 for them. So I am at the point where, you know, screw you. I'll just make them $3, two for five. Since I paid about a, there's a Janice Joplin, about a buck a piece for them. There's a real clean Madonna. Uh, she's still popular. Crosby, Stills, and Nash. And this is probably Best of Bread. Yeah, Best of Bread. I like bread, but not just to eat, but the music. Um, so I'm hoping other people know who they are. They actually have like a lot of really good, easy, easy listening music. And uh, the Best of Bread was one of my favorite albums. Anyway, I'm going to save that for last. Uh, at, the same, at the same house where we bought, I bought this for 10 I bought this for a dollar. And this is just like a, a big orange paperweight. It was a dollar. I'm going to sell it for five dollars probably. Um, this is coral. Not really old, but they are coral beads. And uh, this is just a silver tone bracelet with hearts. It was a couple of bucks. It's got a little wear, but you know, I don't know Valentine's Day is coming up. All right. uh, the first sale I went to, I, I totally missed out on games. They had advertised video games, and I wasn't able to get there until like kind of late. So uh, they were like... Yeah, somebody came at 8 in the morning, and they like they bought all the games. I was like, okay, you know, I totally believe that because they had advertised. But I bought this Sex in the City Eau de Parfum for like 2 bucks. It's a small one out size, but it was only 2 bucks. Um, I don't even know if it's worth putting on Amazon. Uh, at another sale, I know these guys um, that I bought from. They sold me a Donna Karen Gold for $2 also. And this is 1.7 fluid ounce. I'm not really sure the value in this. It might be like 20 bucks or so. Maybe it's more. Right? Yeah. I'll do this next to last, and this is just a nice, uh, really nice, that's a Latticino uh, with banded, uh, like it's blue and kind of a, an aqua blue, uh, Murano vase, this is a nice one, you know, it doesn't really, if it were signed, that would be great, my life would be so much easier, but it isn't, it was probably like a paper label one, but it's definitely like that Latticino stuff a lot of people don't just do. I don't think they're doing that stuff out of China or anything. And this woman usually has like older vintage items, quality items. So I paid 20 for this, and I'm not unhappy with the price. Um, but Murano glass isn't necessarily very easy to sell at flea markets. So, I, if, I mean, if I put this on eBay, it's going to be like between 150 I, I would say it would be like 150 and up. 
I don't know what I'll get at. I might take it at the flea market and try and get a certain amount. If it doesn't sell, I'll let it sit on eBay. What do I care? Okay, here's the best thing I bought today. Um, it's signed Paulette. P-O-L-E-T-T-E. But that is not the artist's name. Oh, there it is. Uh, see, I didn't even look at the back. Anyway, okay. Um, I can't find... Well, I did a search without knowing the artist's name, and it was right on the freaking back. Um, I've seen, I've seen this. There's a listing now that's at auction, but it's it's a boy and a girl. It's a set. I only have the girl, as you can see. Um, let me see what it says on the back. D Saint Rene, D S T Rene. It might be name might also be Laurent, uh, Lawrence or something, but D Saint Rene. Anyway, um, the set of the two of these is is being bid on now and uh, it's over 300 for the set of two so obviously this is probably the best thing I did get today I'm not sure what it's worth just yet but I'm, it was only two dollars so that was an amazingly cheap find and um, I don't know if it'll be the best thing I find this weekend or whatever but it's it's a decent little start you know it makes um I mean it's stuff like this you know, I don't mind dealing in records and items like that. And this I like, but the Murano glass is kind of difficult to sell. Even the good stuff, like they'll want to give me twenty to thirty-five dollars for that. And you know, it's I just can't find that stuff for five dollars. Um, at this, as soon as I figure out what it is, I probably just have to put it on eBay. Um, overall, it is in good condition. There's a little wear to the nose, but that was the gilding that they put on, and stuff like that is normal. And in my opinion, acceptable. You know, but whatever. That's my best find today. Tomorrow's Saturday. Uh, I think the weather's going to be good. Uh, there'll probably be enough sales for me to find some stuff. Hopefully, I get some good games. Don't really know, but we shall see.